guys, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today I am going to give you examiner secrets for speaking and writing from the inside of the exam. Remember guys, I was an examiner for 14 years. That is so long. So after doing thousands of speaking and writing exams, as well as going through training constantly throughout the 14 years, I can give you the insider look. And all of our three key strategies are based on my knowledge. So if you want the best online course guaranteed to raise your scores, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S for our IELTS system. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, a subscriber actually left a comment on the video I told you I was an examiner. A teacher left a comment. So thank you, MW182006. <laughs> That's the subscriber name, so thank you. Um, this person asked me to do some teacher-centric videos about my overall experience as an examiner. So this video is for students, but also for the teachers of IELTS. These are things everyone needs to know for the exam. So first of all, guys, this phrase centric is really cool. Teacher centric, student centric. So using that suffix centric just means focused on. Great vocab. Okay, so speaking guys, here's some things you need to know. First of all, you're not graded on covering the bullet points in speaking part two, okay? As an examiner, I'd barely even looked at the bullet points in speaking part two. It is not part of your grade, okay? Check out other speaking part two videos on this channel to get the real story about what you should be talking about, which is in fact a story. That is our central strategy. You need to tell a story in speaking part two to be fluent and coherent. So once again, you are not graded on covering the bullet points, okay? Stop worrying about that. Next. In part one and part two, guys, you need to be using some informal language like slang and idioms. It is not a job interview. You have to sound more natural and less like a student if you want a seven or higher. That means informal appropriate answers in part one and part two using slang and idioms. Next, you do not have to have an American accent or a British accent to score highly in pronunciation, okay? You can get a seven for pronunciation and still have some of your first language accent. The most important thing is that you are expressive. If you sound the same, just flat and boring in every answer, you cannot get higher than a six, but it is not about your accent, okay? As long as I can understand what you're saying, if you are expressive, I'll give you a seven. All right, so work on that. Um, now, for writing. Guys, examiners do not count the words anymore, okay? I don't count if you have 150 words in task one or 250 words in task two. But here's, <laughs> you really, you can't get higher than a six in writing, guys, if you have too few words. Because you're not showing enough vocab or grammar structures and you're definitely not providing enough strong specific support if you have too few words. So no, we don't count the words anymore, but Come on, you still can't get a seven or higher if you don't have that many words, okay? Plain and simple. Um, now, the last thing, guys, this is a lot of people, most people don't know this unless you are inside the exam. Okay, one examiner grades your speaking, a different examiner grades writing task one, and another different examiner grades writing task two. So that means you can repeat some phrases in your task one and task two. The same examiner does not read them. Okay, so that's comforting knowledge, right? Insider look into the exam. So thank you to this subscriber. And you know what? We might just be developing a teacher training option in the future at IELTS Energy. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today. And remember, if you, um, if you want to get the inside look at what I would give a student for scores and feedback for their speaking exam, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash band. Full exam, transcripts, feedback, scores, it is so useful. So go to allearsenglish.com forward slash band. And as always, leave a comment below to ask me your IELTS questions. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.
bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app. Featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.